Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm happy to have you here today. Right now it is 10.30 in the morning and I've been up since 5.45. But I haven't been chilling. I've been getting ish done, okay? One of the things that I've been doing is shopping on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> if you've ever come thrifting with me, especially in the last couple months, you maybe know that I am on the hunt for high quality items at not a high quality price. One of the brands that I am looking for is a Canadian brand called Roots, okay? It's one of my favorites. I have thrifted a few pieces from them over the last couple of years and they have become some of my very favorite items. And I've shopped at their store before. It's just really expensive, okay? Like I'm talking like, hundred dollars for a sweater okay it's a very expensive store but it's a Canadian company and their clothes last for forever I used to buy roots at a store called Sears which is now over there's no more Sears wish book if you're Canadian you already know and you're sad too <laughs> but you could buy roots there and they usually had things on sale um, and that's, it's a rare moment. I've actually searched online, like when does Roots have sales? And I, cause I'm trying, I've been watching that website guys and I've been trying to find sales and it just seems like they don't have them or they're rare. We do have a Roots store actually at our local mall. It's about 30 minutes away from my house and I've not shopped in there yet. And part of the reason why I haven't shopped there yet is because I'm a bigger girl and Roots does have some items in plus size, which I only just learned while I was stocking their website, um, but the majority of clothes that they have there are more for the size extra small to extra large, double extra large, and I'm in the double extra large zone right now. So more stores have opened up to me and I feel more comfortable um, putting myself out there. Maybe, maybe I'm just saying that and I don't actually feel it. Um, I do want to start shopping more in store because as a plus size girl, and maybe you know this too, um, you get like a fear of going into stores and having the thoughts that, you know, people are looking at you like you don't belong there and that there's nothing that's going to fit you in that store and you feel very aware of your size and it's it's not good feelings so i've been honestly i've been on a journey to overall health in the last year and i should celebrate it more i should be proud of myself honestly it seems like when i talk about my weight loss um some people get mad at me and some people literally unsubscribe and like stop being my friend basically because I'm getting healthy and um, it makes me sad. Um, I've had people reach out to me personally to tell me this and um, while so many more people support me and encourage me and love me than the people that are assholes. Um, so really it's a blip. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't like ruin my vibe. It just kind of like, you know, makes me shrink back down a little bit. Um, but that is the way if you're an online content creator, then there will always be negative Nancy's, um, <laughs> rude Ruth's actually, no, I have a couple Ruth's here and they're not rude at all. I love them. Um, but you know, some, uh, a-hole Annie's, you know, I just, <laughs> there's, there's going to be rude people and I shouldn't let them, you know, harsh the vibe, you know, read the room guys. We're happy. I'm getting healthy. Okay. It's a good thing. And if you're doing it too, I'm proud of you. And if you're just working on mental health, it's not just, that's the most important health. So like, yes, work on that first. Okay. I'm with you sister. I'm on my meds. I'm doing journaling. I am walking for mental health. I honestly still have pretty big issues, but I feel like this journey is going well. 
All of that to say, I was shopping on Facebook Marketplace this morning and I found an extra large long sleeve roots shirt. It's not a hoodie, but it looks like a nice shirt and it's an extra large. While I've been looking on Facebook Marketplace for good quality, high quality clothing, um, I'm finding a lot of smaller sizes but it's very hard to find something in an extra large. Still haven't found anything in a double extra large. I'm not 100% sure this shirt is going to fit me, but it was $15 and it looks really nice and it's a color that I love. So I'm gonna go pick it up. And if it doesn't fit me, I'm gonna hold on to it because it may in the future. And the future is bright and healthy okay come with me we got other things to do too I got to get some groceries I found some deals I want to pick those up before the deals change because they're changing in two days I think and I want to get Campbell's soup for 69 cents at Sobeys that's my other goal okay come with me let's have a good day together all right guys I'm in town and I got it I haven't even looked at it yet she just passed it to me all folded up nice here it is it's cute. I think it actually might fit me. It's like a, a baseball long sleeve, you know, like the varsity style. I like it and it's really soft. I set you guys down so I could like actually look at it with two hands and I think it's gonna fit. It, it might be a little fitted, but I think it's gonna fit and I love this color and she doesn't smoke. So yeah, it doesn't stink. Anyways, found my way here. Now I'm going to find my way out of here and I actually am feeling kind of thrifty at the moment. Maybe I should stop off at Value Village and just go through their hoodies. It could be my lucky day. Let's go find out. So freaking close, you guys. This is Roots Beaver Canoe. Um, extra large. It's children's. <laughs> this is not women's. Bummer. And it's in really good condition, too. Of course it is. High quality, I'm telling you guys. Um, we may have a winner. This is a women's XL. Is there any stains? It is $15.99, but I mean for a Nike hoodie. Um, thank you. Yes. I always check the large area as well. I know I want extra large, but sometimes extra large gets moved into the large zone. And also sometimes there's a large, but it's oversized. So then it's kind of an extra large. And you guys, I did just find a Roots zip up hoodie. I just don't like the fleece. That's not what I'm looking for. I don't even think they have anything on the website like this right now. Maybe they do, but I don't like it. Not into it, but I'm still in great quality guys. Like I'm such a smart woman. I'm also going <laughs> to too. I'm also gonna check the men's hoodies too, because Women and men's hoodies are so similar. You can't even really tell. And it's basically gender neutral, at least for me, I think it is. I can't come to Valley Village and not look at the mugs. You just never know. <gasps> oh, it's a little scuffed up. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. It's a little too scratched, look guys. But it's Disney Store. Aww. It was crazy in there, and I think Tuesdays are seniors' days, so that's why it was so nuts. Um, but my Walmart is right beside Value Village, and this is on my list. We got a few deals I wanna grab.
Moncton, who the hell keeps buying all of the butter popcorn flavor? I was lucky. I was lucky. There was one left. But I can't find them anywhere. This is the first time I found them in like a month. <laughs> Selection. They Three different delicious. kinds. Different flavors. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. Fried chicken wings and two orders of wedges. That was a rush. <laughs> Everybody was hungry, so I came home with food so I wouldn't have to come home and make them food. Everybody likes fried chicken in wedges, no. so... Yes, Winnie likes wedges only, but they also had apple slices while I was on my way home. So that's great. Um, I'm gonna get everything set up and I'll show you what I got. I didn't get that much, but I did get some good deals. All right, guys, here is my little haul. This has to be one of my smallest hauls ever, but I did get some things that were on sale. I haven't bought Kraft Dinner in so long. This is just mac and cheese, but here in Canada, we call it Kraft Dinner. Um, <laughs> I was going to get a really big box of them because they had a really big box of boxes on sale, but they were all sold out. So I just got five for $4. And my daughter used to be obsessed with this. And if you've been here for a while, then you already knew that because Kraft Dinner was something I used to buy all the time. I used to stock the stores and find the deals. And literally, I still have probably like 30 boxes of Kraft Dinner seashells, which was Winnie's favorite. It's just like the shell pasta version. Um, I still have a bunch of those in my junk room because she won't eat them. She was Kraft Dinner's number one fan for years. She ate it so much. She made herself completely sick of it. So I don't buy it for her anymore. We've tried a couple times over the last few months for her to try it again, and it's a no. Even the smell of it makes her, I don't wanna say gag, but literally she can't eat it. Like it's not, it's not safe. <laughs> she just, she has like a reaction to it and it's, it's a no. So anyways, I bought that for the boys. They still like original craft dinner. So I picked it up for them. I'm sure they'll be happy to have that with some hot dogs. It's called buried treasure when you cut up hot dogs and put it in your bowl of craft dinner. And if you're spicy, then you add ketchup to that as well. It was a family favorite here for a lot of years, but actually it still is one of the boys' favorites. So I'm happy to buy it for them. I just wish that my kids ate more of the same meals because it would just make my life so much easier. But what can I say? My kids are fed and that's what matters. You heard my anger in Walmart. Sobeys didn't have any. Like, there's some kind of shortage. I've been looking for so long. Happy to grab one of these. Honestly, it probably won't even last the day because Winnie's been asking for this for so long. So at least I got one of them. Scored one. Hopefully more will be available in the future. Please do not discontinue the butter popcorn. Obviously, it's everyone's favorite. The two bite cinnamon rolls have become a favorite in this house. Actually, not even gonna lie. I told Boober this morning when he asked for cinnamon rolls and I said, oh, we don't have any more. Um, I said, I promise I will buy you some today. And I came through, I came through. I realized after I said the word promise, I was like, girl, what if they're sold out at Walmart? And I was like, I guess I'll have to find another store to find them from, but no, we're good. $1.27 a package and happy to restock the cinnamon roll box that I have in my pantry and Boober will be happy to have this tomorrow morning when he gets here. Walmart had their Powerades on for a dollar a piece. So I got a bunch of those for my boys. And also one of the things that I was literally going into Walmart for 
this was worth the trip for sure. Um, $4.97. You guys, that's a really good deal. Like groceries are so expensive now, but when you see a deal like this, you have to buy it. Um, I got three of the nuggets and one of the chicken burgers. I would have bought so many more boxes of that Jane's chicken because there was no limit on it at all at the store. Um, the reason I didn't is because my deep freeze downstairs and my freezer over here, they're pretty much full. Um, we have a really good supply of groceries in the house right now. So like for the next week, maybe more, you will just see me buying chips because we eat a lot of chips in this house and that's fine. Um, but chips and produce, that's probably all I'll have to buy for like the next week, which makes me feel like I'm doing a very good job. Pat myself on the back. So at Walmart, I spent $56. And that's, I mean, considering how expensive groceries are, I feel like that's pretty decent. Uh, over here at Sobeys, other than the food that I bought for the family and the kids, um, because this is not included in that price, but I spent $6 at Sobeys on groceries. So I got corn, they were 50 cents a piece. And then I got 12, because there was a limit on the soups. Um, I got 12 tomato soup and they were 69 cents each. So of course I had to stock up on that. Tomato soup is one of my favorite fall meals. I think I'm the only one, I am the only one in the entire family that likes tomato soup. But you guys, I literally just got goosebumps. Holy crap, I got goosebumps thinking about one of my favorite fall meals. I am a very emotional person and my body shows it. Can you believe that? Do you know what one of my favorite fall meals are? Campbell's tomato soup with a grilled cheese. Like, I am get like, literally I'm having a physical reaction to food. No wonder I'm a freaking addict. Of course, <laughs> it makes sense. But tomato soup and grilled cheese is one of those meals that when it's raining and it's cold and you need a hoodie on, it's just comfort. And I will absolutely be partaking in tomato soup and grilled cheese over the next few months for sure. But also I use Campbell's tomato soup when I make a pasta dish. We call it goulash here in the Maritimes. Um, so we will go through those 12 in a few months. No problem at all. And the corn is local. So I'm happy to have this here as well. I'm going to get all this stuff put away and then I'm going to try on my shirts. Now that I have two hands available, I can show you the Roots shirt a bit better. It's definitely not an oversized extra large. It's a pretty fair extra large size. I haven't tried it on yet. I'm gonna try it on. Um, but then also the Nike hoodie, you guys, what a freaking good find. And honestly, Skylar was home for lunch from work. He's back at work now. But I showed him, I was like, did you see my find from Valley Village? And he's like, sweet, is that for me? And I was like, dude, no, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> um, I did look through the men's hoodies though. I didn't find anything worth buying. I also honestly spent a little too much time browsing in Value Village because that's why I was rushed to get back for the kids to eat. Um, but anyways, I, I looked through the women's t-shirts, the women's um, active wear, uh, the men's coats. Like I, I did take a little bit more time to look just cause I was having fun. I was in the mood to thrift, but can you believe I found this for $15.99 and I even had a dollar off on my, uh, what is it called? Membership or whatever. So I used that baby. Like, I hope it fits. It looks like it may be shrunk a little bit. Um, it is in size extra large. The two sweaters that I bought while we were in Florida. Did I buy two then? I have two new Nike sweaters. I think I, I bought them in the States. I can't remember which trip it was on, but um, those are both extra large and they fit me quite nicely. Um, so hopefully this one will fit. I, I thought there had to be something wrong with it, you guys. I really did. I was like, where's the stain? Where's the hole? 
Because honestly, Value Village would charge $15.99 for a Nike sweater with damage. Like that's the way Value Village is. And that's why it's way more of a treasure hunt now because it's not just to find a good item. It's to find a good item at a good price. So it's kind of, you got to dig a little deeper to find the treasure. But I can't see anything wrong with this. I really don't, like, maybe when I'm editing this, I'll be like, Miranda, you dough head, look. <laughs> but I really don't. There's white on it, and there's, I don't see anything wrong with it. Let me try these things on. I'm happy to have them, and hopefully my body will be happy to wear them. Does that make sense? I don't know. For me, it does, I guess. <laughs> also, as a review, if you guys watched my Torrid haul video, this Torrid bra that I bought, in that video, I'll link it below if you want to watch it, is amazing. I literally, I gotta stop saying literally, people are getting triggered with me saying that word all the time, but I am absolutely going to go back to Torrid and I'm buying this in every color. Like it is the most comfortable bra I've ever worn and it's got a thick edge to it right here. It's just, yes. If you wanted to know, if you wanted the update, the review, go buy it. Go try it on. You'll love it too. I think it's gonna, oh, it's a little short. It's a little short. I think maybe it did shrink a bit. And maybe that's why the person donated it because it's really short. <laughs> Let me show you. I love it from here. I do. The sleeves even feel a little bit short, but ooh, look, the kangaroo pop it, pop, pop, pop. I have a stuttering problem. Um, the kangaroo pocket comes up a little too high. Um, yeah, it's a little short for me. I wish it had like two more inches. <laughs> That's what she said. But I think I'll still wear it. I think it'll still be cute. And maybe if I keep doing what I'm doing, it'll fit me even better in a little while. So but I'm happy to have it for 15 bucks. Cause the ones I bought at like the Nike outlets and like on sale in the States cost me like $30 American or more. So very worth it for 15. You guys, I love it. I love the color. I love the fit. It is like a little bit fitted on me, but that's okay. That's okay. I think it's cute. I like it a lot. I'm so glad I found it. I don't think it was on Facebook Marketplace for long because I've been checking often. So I'm happy that I scored it and that she was home and I could get it today. And I didn't have to wait and hope. Sent the e-transfer, got in the car, went to pick it up. Thanks for coming with me, guys. Today was fun. I am going to actually end the vlog here because we have plans tonight. You will see it on a future vlog, but I got to edit this and get it together and online for you guys. So there'll be a video for tomorrow because I'm going to be way too tired to do all of that shenanigans tonight because we got plans. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye guys.